What about alcohol? <clears throat> We've known for a long time, since about 1984, when the Surgeon General came out and said, look, tobacco is not good. We've known that. But alcohol, people still using a lot of alcohol. But they've done it. The biggest study ever done with alcohol. A man up at the University of Washington did it. He did it in about 191 countries, something like that. And he found out there's no safe level of alcohol. He wanted to know what level was safe because he used a little alcohol himself. He was a social drinker. Anyhow, he discovered there's no safe level. It's zero. It's the only safe level. The more cancer by alcohol. For example, breast cancer. For the ladies, breast cancer is a big deal. Alcohol is one of the major causes of breast cancer. But we need to live properly, getting the exercise, keeping our weight down, and you can lower your risk of heart attack and cardiovascular disease, stroke. We can lower the risk 80% with lifestyle without any medicine. And so many of the medicines are not doing us any good anyway. So we should promote lifestyle. But our problem was, we don't know who really has heart disease and who doesn't. We've got to do something medically to find out some simple way to tell who has atherosclerosis of the heart and who doesn't. We've been going by cholesterol level. It's not a good guy because 93%, it didn't help anybody at all. See, so we've been having people take all these pills and now they've said, we should tell them we've made a mistake. We used to think that if we lowered everybody's cholesterol, we'd do away with heart disease. We should tell our patients we've made a mistake. It's not true. But then what should we tell them to do? Tell them what will really benefit them is lifestyle. 